Hello my digital nomads and in today's video I'm going to be reviewing an AI that claims to be able to rewrite an article, a book, or a blog post in such a way that it can be passed an AI detector. Now in the past we've covered uh, other AI writing software that made this claim such as Word AI and it didn't quite pan out that way. I was a bit disappointed but let's see if this one can pass the test. All right, so here is the main website and then I'm gonna go ahead and it says uh, no credit card required and free trial. So I'm gonna go ahead and use it to see, hopefully um, I can get access to it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and enter my details in here. I'm gonna sign up and log in and I'll meet you inside. So, and I'll show you exactly you know, what, what the next step is. Okay, and this is what it looks like on the inside. So you have the dashboard over here, uh, Genius Writer, Bypass AI Detector V2, YouTube to Article, Grammar Manifesto, uh, what's our Maestro, Genius Bulk Rewriter, Video Tutorials, um, Lifetime Credits. All right, so I'm just basically gonna go with the AI Detector because that's, that's essentially what I'm what I'm interested in. Is is there any AI content writer out there that can um, pass the AI detector because the reason why it's important is because if, if origi originality.ai can detect it, so can Google. And if Google can detect it, your content won't rank as, as high. Okay. At least that's what I've been found, what I found through my testing. So what I'm going to do is I want to go take a normal piece of content that's generated from one of my favorite AI writers. I'll leave a link in the description below. Okay, and then from here, once I log in, I'm gonna go ahead and generate just a paragraph to see what exactly, and just, just be able to use something uh, to test with. I'm gonna use it, use a control, and then I'm gonna use the, the original. So let me go with, um, let's go with blog paragraphs. Let's see, I'm gonna go with, uh, let's see what, is meditation okay and then everything else i just leave blank click right for me and then i'm going to see what exactly comes up i'm going to go put this into an ai content detector called originality so this is what they gave me copy this go to originality.ai Okay, I use my own credits. This is me like paying uh, out of my own, my own pocket for this. So, you know, I'm, I'm actually using my resources to test this out. All right, so I'm gonna go to start a new scan. I'm just gonna paste the, this, is, this in. Let's see, meditation, um, control. All right, how about that? I'm gonna scan now. And let me see what is this this AI detection model. I think it's, it's oh it's version 1.4. Okay, so now it's going to detect whether the content we just wrote with an AI is you know AI. And yeah, sure enough, it comes back as 100% AI. That's the control. Now I'm going to take this and I'm going to go ahead and start a new scan. All right. And but this time I'm going to take what I just wrote in the AI content writer, I'm gonna put it into this AI rewriter that claims to be able to pass it, and I'm gonna plop it in here. So that's the article that just failed AI detection. All right, and then I'm going to go ahead and see if I can scroll down real quick. Uh, bypass AI detection. All right, just simple, <laughs> it's a simple, simple button. <laughs> Hopefully it does what it says, but it, it has a really clear in the instruction. One button, one click, a bypass AI detection. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and copy the output. And I'm just gonna read a little bit of it because I wanna make sure um, it's readable. If it's just junk, then let's see. So it says meditation has been around for ages and it's deeply embedded in numerous cultures and religions. People often think of it as a path to mindful, 
uh, mindfulness, stress reduction, and spiritual development. But recently it became wildly popular in the Western world as an effective way to boost uh, mental health and well-being. Wow, who knew? Okay, not too bad, not too bad. Um, so it's readable, okay? It doesn't sound like, like gibberish. Now let's see if it passed the litmus test. Let's see if it can pass originality.ai because uh, most, most of them can. All right, paste it in here. Uh, let's see, uh, rewrite meditation. Let's see, test. Okay, and let me see if this multiple entity text models are available to run your scan with different models you can, okay, so you can run different models. I'm just gonna stick with the default 1.4. Okay, scan now, and let's see, let's cross our fingers and hope that this comes out as human, human written. I'm really rooting for, I'm really, really going for this, uh, this software. I hope it, it can do what it claims because I've been disappointed in the past. Ah, oh, no, no, it's so sad. Unfortunately, it is, it's unable to, it still comes off as 100% AI. Uh, let me, let me see. Maybe try again. Let me go to, let me scan again. and see what comes up, All right? But don't, don't worry, I'm, you know, yeah, it still comes off, let's see plagiarism. At least, at least plagiarism score it comes off as unique and it is readable, but unfortunately it still comes off as AI. So I'm gonna try a different topic and, and see if that, that one works as well. Uh, let's go with, mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna go back to, War Hero, I'm gonna go ahead and, and type in um, uh, how to, to gain weight. There we go. I'm gonna say right for me and then see what, what comes up. And then after that, I'm just gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna just uh, copy this. I'm gonna go, go ahead and this time just to save time, I'm just gonna go simply to uh, start a new scan. Uh, let me go ahead and start a new scan. Okay, and then from here, I'm just gonna go, uh, sorry, I'm gonna go paste this into the rewriter. Okay, delete this and paste it in here. I'm gonna click on, uh, clear this to click on bypass AI detection. Let it, let it rewrite everything and see what comes up. Now I'm hoping maybe this one, maybe the first one was unlucky. Maybe, maybe this one can, You know, maybe this one can actually bypass the uh, the detector. Let me see. I'm gonna copy this, and I'm going to go ahead, delete this, paste it in here. Go ahead and uh, I don't need plagiarism. Just detect AI. All right. Scan now. Oh wow! So this one comes. This one actually comes off as 99% original, 1% AI. That's that's interesting. See, this is what I this is what I was hoping for. Okay, that that's cool. So let me go ahead and, and try a few more because I, I want to make sure that at least works, uh, you know, three out of four times. Okay, before I recommend this and, and use it myself. Let me see. Uh, let, let's try. Let's see uh, how to. Uh, we got we covered weight. We covered mental health. Let's cover how to walk your dog. All right. And then click right for me. Uh, let's see. All right, I'm gonna copy this. 
I'm going to paste this into the rewriter. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on bypass AI detection. And then see what comes up. All right. And if it works again, I'll, I'll try one more time with a different topic and uh, we'll see what happens. All right. So I'm going to copy the output. But just to be sure, I just want to highlight this and click copy a few times. All right. Now I want to take this and test it, test to see if it, if it is uh, original. All right. So uh, let me start a new scan. Nope. Start a new scan. Plop it in here. Just detect for AI and scan now. Uh, I'm hoping it can pass once again. Oh yes, 80% original, 20% AI. So that that's amazing. That's amazing. So so far, two out of three has passed. Let let's go. Let's go one more. Let's let's keep going. Um, I, I'm excited. I have not. I have yet to see an AI content writer pass uh, AI content detector. Even the ones I claim they have. Right, this is the very first one. Let, let me continue. And and see um, what else what else I can I can come up with, all right. Uh, let's see how to walk your dog. Let's go with how how to how to do a water fast. Okay, right for me. All right, I'm gonna let it let's do a thing. I'm gonna copy it. I'm going to let it rewrite. Hopefully, I still have credits. <laughs> Let's see. Control V. Bypass AI detection. I'm hoping fourth time is a charm. Hopefully, fourth time it, it keeps it up. The good work. Not too bad. Really impressed so far. Let's see. Okay, I'm going to highlight this. Copy it a few times. And then I'm going to go ahead and test it. This will be the very first one to to pass uh, originality.ai. I'm really <laughs> really impressed because this this originality.ai is is very very strict when it comes down to you know detecting AI. It can detect paraphrase. Um, it, it can detect paraphrase work. It can detect many AI different types of AI. Wow, it passed 100% original. So. In conclusion, this is this is this this is the real deal. This actually works. Now, the downside is the interface is a bit bare bones. Um, I'm not sure why this is kind of cutting into the the text over here. Maybe it's just my screen or whatever. But I'm gonna leave a link down below so you can go ahead and check this out. This is the very first one that, that has passed AI content detection. And just to just to show you that, um, uh, just to give you a quick update, my last method of using Quillbot to paraphrase everything no longer works. I'll show you. Let me just show you what I mean by that. It's just easier if I show you. So um, I'm going to take the same content that I used before. And this time, instead of using it through the read writer, I'm just going to use it through Coolbot Premium, right? I'm going to pay for this as well. All right. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and paste the text in here. Oh, let me just paste it in here. Okay. And then from there, I'm just going to go with, you know, max synonym changes and. Uh, I'll go with simple, okay, and then it's going to click on paraphrase. All right, so let us do its thing. Seven of eighth, okay, I think it's it's done. And I'm going to go ahead and highlight this. See, and now I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing and check to see if this is um, you know AI written. And before it used to pass, now originality.ai can detect it. So I just want to give you the most up-to-date information out there because things change within the space. All right, but I'm going to show it to you right now, all right? I put my money on the line, all my resources, I'm going to show you, all right? So and as you can see, it failed. Don't take my word for it. Go ahead and try it out yourself. But I want you to save save you some time, save you some headaches, save you some money, and show you what works and what doesn't. So uh, if you're interested in the software that can uh, bypass AI a content detector and rank your, your articles or your videos, you know, video scripts um, for your YouTube a lot, a lot better. Then go ahead and check this out. I'm Vince from Digital Med Institute, and if you found this uh, video helpful, please hit the like button. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.